Hi everybody, part two uh, with my friend from Argentina. <laughs> I hope I do it right. Uh, Dominic, the first part was very interesting. Let me see if she will come again. Uh, the life is being processed and will be saved and later on you can all see it not mm -hmm. not also in Instagram like YouTube and other social media she already entered Ah, we got cut short. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, second was the first. <laughs> uh, Luizinho is the best friend, is my best friend uh, from here. So I was kidding about, I was kidding about Serre du Gilles, uh, mm -hmm. which is, you know, as Sangra said, uh, it's amazing. It's uh, yeah. Uh, I think Sandra will help me. Uh, about what two hours from Porto, Sandra. I think. Uh, which is amazing. It has waterfalls. Oh, nice! Love I love that. Uh, it um. The people there, they rent uh, small uh, houses. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They rent it. Like cabins. Like mm -hmm. cabins. Uh, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, which you can visit and stay there and you can chill out. Totally real. I like that. Uh, yeah. That's and great. You can drive. You and you can visit waterfalls a little bit. It's uh, mm -hmm. a, also a very good hiking place. Also, oh. <laughs> you're <more>. tempting me. <laughs> I always I say the one thing that Buenos Aires is missing for this to be the perfect city: mountains. If we had mountains, ah, this would be ah, the perfect okay, okay. city. <laughs> Uh, okay. But you have to travel down south for them or um, west. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, there, Serra do Gilles has its waterfalls, <laughs> hiking, a uh, small yeah. camp. They, they rent it. It's very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, I would love that, I, yeah. The father of my my sister... Oh, okay, so that's not far, an hour and a half a by car. car. Uh, for example, and probably, uh, probably the route is is very scenic. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can imagine that. Uh, one good thing, uh, and my and uh, father of my sister's husband will love it. Uh, mm -hmm. He has a cabin there. Oh. He rents. He rents it. Uh, oh, nice. So yeah. uh, when you come, let me know. <laughs> so so I'm sold. You you two really sold me on <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I don't know if it's the fact that we're not allowed to travel, but lately all I want to do is just you know drop everything, hop on a plane, and go you know wander yeah. around the world. Yeah. Uh, one thing I have to be careful. That Sandra says. North of Portugal is way uh, colder than the south. Colder. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm, I'm not. I'm not that happy about that there. <laughs> but but probably uh, probably not the fact for like June July. Yes. Yeah. That, that's perfect. That's that's warm, anyways. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so how about um, how about you as a guide? Do you have? Do you feel like you have a spread out good amount of work throughout the entire year, or is it very um, you know divided 
by the high season? Is it very marked by season or do you really do, you know, work all year round? Uh, I can tell you that I'm a newcomer. Uh, yeah. Very newcomer, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I had a customer, only a customer from Brazil last August. Yeah. Uh, a year, uh, I only finished almost uh, six months the, the, my degree. Uh, oh, so the, 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 the pandemic came and ruined your project everything. completely. completely. Yeah, you were just starting and... Ah, yes, uh, cut, cut me like a knife, really. Yeah, uh, that's too bad. But um, what I hear about is... Depending on the promotion, like as a tour guide, you give. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it all depends about that because Portugal is not, in terms of the other countries in Europe, is not as cold as I mean, England yeah. or Sweden mm -hmm. or Holland. Uh, yeah, or it's not that friends. affected by the winter, yeah, by the yeah. change of the season. Oh, that's yeah. that's really good. Yeah, uh, it's all uh, pretty much the temperature all year, um, mm -hmm. about eighteen degrees, give or yeah. take. Uh, in the north, yeah. it's cooler. It's about sixteen, sixteen, yeah. fourteen. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably in, in the, the south, south they have better work all year round than what they yeah. do in the north. In, yes. in our case, here in Buenos Aires, it is um, very strongly marked by the season. Uh, in yes. high season, high season goes uh, from September, that it's only beginning, um, to March, which is when it ends. Um, the very, very strong months are November, December, January, and February. Those are uh, the four strongest months that we have. And after March, it start, so slowly starts dying off. There's a couple of things here in April. And then after April, nothing. It's completely dead. You might get like one reservation per month, if even. Uh, okay. And it dies until September. Completely, completely dead. So it's mm -hmm. almost six, season, six uh, months on, six months off. So it is a little bit hard as a tour guide. You have to, it, it's a struggle. You have to work very, very hard on the high season. You're almost, you can't say no to a reservation even if you're tired and you want to rest or whatever because you know you have to save up for the low season. So you're working, you know, round the clock like this. Um, and then low season, there's almost nothing. So, well, that's the time when that I usually take off uh, for some traveling. Uh, the good thing is that it's winter here, but it's summer somewhere else. So that's yeah. when I travel. I go chasing summers. <laughs> so <laughs> so I can go to because, Portugal and uh, enjoy and your because, summer. Yes, because as you know, because of Ecuador. Uh, yeah. Very much winter time in Argentina is our summertime. And yeah. your summertime is our, uh, our, uh, uh, our, uh, our, the summer opposite way. Winter, yeah. And your summer is our winter. It's yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, well, it's perfect for you. When uh, March April, mm -hmm. uh, it's cool. You come April uh, May to September. Yeah, it's perfect. May because yeah. it's starting to get warmer, but at, in the tourism is not the peak. So yeah, you are not a lot of people. Not too hot. It's perfect, and you can visit in Lisbon the old barrios. Uh, all mm -hmm. the neighborhoods yeah. where you can drink wine and pretty much uh, listen to Portuguese music called Hog. Yeah. Uh, which 
they have when you enter they have a rule uh, mm -hmm. during this song you cannot speak you have to 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 listen to them uh, if, yeah. you, if you say something the singers they almost get they hate it yeah. you have to finish they, you have to let them finish the song clap and then you can can do what and you then you want. can yeah don't, uh, and don't, don't clap. clap no clapping <laughs> okay uh, yeah it's very tradition uh in fado there's very generous of music in type of music in inside fado it has uh tradition fado which almost is very sad uh it fills with the heart uh mm -hmm. and also have the more cheerful fado also and you can not dance but you can feel happy <laughs> give or take oh. Oh, and, that's nice uh, and i recommend uh, because i personally i love it um uh, I think it's called something like Santa Margarida, but I will tell you later. Uh, nice. It has one, okay. one of the best sunsets of Lisbon. Uh, because you see, the, the port, uh, it has a port, and you see the, the cruises, and you can see yeah. the, the, the sunset, and mm -hmm. in that time you can... Uh, bring your boyfriend, husband, whatever, because he will love it. Uh, it's yeah. very, very romantic. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Other thing, here in Portugal, we have two islands. Yes. Uh, called Madeira, <laughs> Madeira Island, which I know Sandra yeah. loves it, which is uh the the island which was born the famous cristiano ronaldo ah From... how how do you like him as a player <laughs> uh, i'm going uh, sangra i think will kill me now as a player i will always love messi she, she will suit me <laughs> Uh, in terms of technique, in terms of technique, yeah. I always prefer Messi, but he's a, a very hardworking football player, no doubt. Yeah. Um, in Madeira Island, the name of the airport is Cristiano. Oh, Ronaldo. okay. All right, there you go. Then now that you said that, allow me. I always thought he was a little too egotistical. Yes, me too. That's what I don't like about him. Um, uh, and, and in comparison, besides obviously, you know, the, 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 the way they play and the technique and everything, in comparison, Messi is so, you know, low profile. And I, yeah. I, I really love that about him. And Cristiano is all, all you know, look at me. I'm nice. I'm yeah. this. I'm pretty. I'm, ugh. And that, yeah. that <laughs> image that he has is exhausting. <laughs> Yes, yes. And Madeira has <laughs> his own museum, for example, which has yeah. his, his awards, etc. Uh, a statue. But Madeira, uh, I'm suspicious because my father's family is from there. So I'm suspicious. Ah, I love Madeira. Right. Um, because has Uh, um, it's, a, it's a tropical island, so you will love the weather. Every year, mm -hmm. it's about 20 degrees. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you will love the flowers. It has mm -hmm. a lot of different species of flowers. They have, in April, if I'm not mistaken, their party of flowers. They bring... Mm -hmm. In, oh, that's pretty. In Funchal, which is the, the capital, a lot of flowers and mm -hmm. they have a party. You will mm -hmm. love the, the, uh, the, the fruit, 
iets tropical. Ja. Bananen. Ja. Uh, grapefruit. Pineapple. Ja. Uh, pineapple also. Uh, a lot. We will, you will love the food from Magaina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because not even the fish, swordfish is amazing. Oh, and, I love swordfish. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Uh, and one of the best in the world is at Madeira. And you have very good meat. Uh, okay. Food. I'll have to try that. I'll yes. be the judge of that. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. And because they put it on a stick, the meat. Yeah. And uh, let me see how we say it. Here. Like over a fire? Uh, also, some restaurants uh, uh, has it. Meat in a stick. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at the, at the bottom, they put bay leaf. Ah, okay. To give it flavor. To give a flavor, yes, it's true. To give mm-hmm. a flavor, they put um, bay leaf. I have to Google it because yeah. I don't know it. Uh, meat, uh, yeah. bacon, I think. Meat, mm-hmm. uh, stick like and that. so it goes. It, so it goes. Layers, that, yeah, yeah. We have a similar meat. thing that we do sometimes over here, and then we put that. Um, we we you know we have like a like a grill. Uh, you can yeah. do it in the grill, or if not, if you want to do it the more traditional way, you are going to build a fire uh, with coal, and then yeah. you put some bricks over it, and then you just put the little um, the little sticks with uh, with the beef and, and and some vegetables also in the middle, uh, also there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And you have to try it with corn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, with corn, uh, grilled corn in yes, square, in square. oh, yummy, mm-hmm. yes. El- or if you want, uh, you can also, uh, like they do it like in Italy, in, in Italy, um, yeah. The corn is uh, polenta. Remember polenta. polenta? Yes, 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 yes. yes. We, we eat a lot of polenta here. As a matter of fact, I had polenta last night. <laughs> so, cool. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Uh, my God. Uh, so, polenta is very familiar also here in at ah. Magellan Island. Yeah. Uh, we do small pieces of bacon. But they have yeah. a, a, or a small or a large dish of that. Yeah, uh, you can drink it with like um, some set, um, <laughs> uh, like poncha. It's similar. Okay. Poncha mm-hmm. is similar to caipirinha, but stronger. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's similar to that, and you mm-hmm. they drink it in a uh, they share it. Up, stir it up. Uh, yeah. But beware, it's strong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll have that in mind. Uh, because it uh, is with um, uh, Magella liquor. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's fresh, but beware because it's strong. <laughs> It's done. Okay, I'll have I'll have that in mind. Okay. All right, Ricardo, I have to start cooking, <laughs> but um, it was really wonderful to do this uh, little um, Instagram live to talk a little about our countries. I learned a lot about um, Portugal that I didn't know before, and like you said, I really want to visit right now. Uh, hopefully, you they will open more. the doors for us. Yeah, this is this is taking too long in the case of Argentina. For those of you who are joining just now, we've had over 80 days uh, of um, quarantine here. 
and it seems like it'll go for longer. Uh, until the 23rd of June, if I'm not mistaken, we're still in quarantine, and they might extend it even more. So for the time being, no no traveling, no, no touring around over here. But whenever it activates uh, again, we surely will start traveling, and hopefully I'll get to go to Portugal. Coming May, uh, May to May. September. May to September mm -hmm. is perfect. I will yeah. not uh, recommend August because not even the price because it's high peak uh, mm -hmm. here. It's because it's too crowded. Because uh, the immigrants, Portuguese immigrants, they all. They're always coming August when they have their vacation. Of and course, it's uh, it's the um, it's the winter vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Summer here, summer vacation. Summer for you, winter here. <laughs> exactly. True. Yeah. Uh, so well, wonderful. It was really nice to do this nice. talk, Ricardo. So uh, we'll keep in touch, and uh, we'll save the video. If anybody has any other questions about anything, they can obviously uh, message you, message me. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that was it. Was a nice afternoon. And to end, uh, I will save this live. I will uh, convert to YouTube, and I will send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, mm -hmm. right. absolutely. Well, thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, everyone, yes, for you joining. Until Bye. next time. Until next time.